Good morning, friends. We're doing sort of a vlog today. Uh, I have many questions about how I am getting all my protein in and about my exercise routine. So this morning, that's what we're doing. We are making a couple of items that I have throughout the day, and we are going to go for a beautiful walk. So I always start my morning after we have come home from the gym, and we just got home from the gym. So I am making my protein shake and I measure everything out. And I'm sorry, I don't have the scale visible as to the grams, but I do post at the end of this recipe um, a little picture to the left you'll see and it will give you all the grams. So this is my vital protein powder and I also put in my actual protein powder, which gives me a lot of protein because I am not a big meat eater, so I do supplement from time to time, or at least every day, I should say, once a day, with my protein powders. So I'm adding a little bit of cacao nibs here, and yes, I measure everything out, and everything is done by serving size. So I put my cacao in because it just adds some flavonoids, to my smoothie and I love that and then after I have measured all that and I, I think it's important to say that usually I do this the night before uh, but I wanted to record it for you so that's why it's not already prepared here I am just putting in some cinnamon and I like to grind it fresh uh, I don't measure the cinnamon cinnamon to me is just a freebie and now I'm going to prepare my bowl for my eggs. And I do use egg whites. The egg yolks go to the girls or in Lou's breakfast. So do not fear that I am wasting my egg yolks. <laughs> uh, anyway, I do like the pasture raised. However, it's becoming very hard to find eggs. So I will end up having to just get what I can when I'm in the grocery store. And I'm just separating the yolks, as I said. I don't like... Um, I only like runny yolks, I call them dippy eggs, with toast. And I'm not having toast this morning, I'm going to have something else. Um, I'm going to try to bring you an assortment of these videos that allows you to see all the different varieties that I am eating and losing 25 pounds now, my friends. So uh, just separating the egg, putting a little salt and pepper, and this is a violet salt. It's supposed to have like a whiny taste to it. I don't taste any different, but egg whites need salt and pepper as far as I'm concerned. Now I have prepped that. This will eventually go into the microwave, and yes, I like to use the microwave. You can fry them up in a pan if you like. So now I'm gonna try these bagels from Dave's Bread. I don't really care for Dave's Bread because it does have added sugar in it. This uh, per bagel has three grams of added sugar into it. I prefer the Ezekiel, but I wanted to try something different and let you all see that you can still eat bagels. So now I'm going to measure out my blueberries for my smoothie. And I like to add a little bit of my buy drink. I can only do a little bit of this because of the caffeine. So I just put a small amount just to cover the blades. And I don't really count the buy, but if you want to be super ac you know, accurate, then you'll want to go ahead and measure that out. So I pour everything in the blender for my smoothie. I'm gonna measure out my blueberries and then I throw ice in there, lots of ice. The ice will give me a very large smoothie. I am all about volume, and I'm not going, I'm just not the type of person that's going to eat itsy bitsy little bit of food. <laughs> I need to have the bad man pajama sizes. So um, I'm just finishing up. There's my ice. I throw it in, and I'm going to blend that up while my eggs, oh, I'm cutting up my avocado here. This is new to me, voiceover, so hang with me. Uh, but I use a quarter of an avocado. Yay, it's a ripe one. And uh, I'm all excited about that. So I just cut it in quarter. I do not really measure it. I just try to, uh, or I don't weigh it, I should say. I just try to make sure that I'm only using a quarter of the avocado. So now my bagel is done. I'm going to smash the avocado on that. And then I'm going to go and get some ricotta cheese. A lot of people call it ricotta, but my sisters married Italians, and it was always ricotta, 
Rogota cheese. And this is just the Whole Foods brand. And I just put a small amount, and what this does is it boosts up my protein intake for the day. You will see at the end that my breakfast has a lot of protein in it. So I just smash all that on, and then my egg comes out of the microwave, salt and pepper, and I just put it on top, and then I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of chipotle uh, hot sauce on it, just a small amount, just to add a little extra flavor to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend up my smoothie. And while my smoothie is blending up, I get my cup ready and I clean up a little bit. And then I just pour my smoothie into a glass, obviously. Just waiting for me to catch up in the video. And now I'm just going to sit down and enjoy it. And you will see that my breakfast has 62.9 grams of protein, 30.2 carbs, and 12 grams of fat. It does have 525 calories. So good. And I usually allow myself 451 grams for my breakfast, but I don't worry about that. All I worry about is staying within my calorie range and getting my protein. And so I thought I would take you on a walk with me today. I am going without the girls. One day a week, I go without the girls. At first, I used to feel really guilty about that, but I thought, you know, you're a good dog owner. You take care of these dogs. They walk more than most dogs. So uh, I had to learn how to take an hour out to walk for myself. So that is what we are going to do today. I am going to take you on this walk with me and show you a little bit of the community. And so the first thing I do is set my watch for an outdoor walk and we will be Okay, in. so we are headed out on the walk and I will tell you, skies are beautiful, but it is very brisk here this morning. There is a breeze and it is only about 50 degrees, which is pretty darn cold to me now. If I were back in Buffalo, <laughs> this would be beautiful weather. Anyway. anyway, I'm just going to take you on my journey with me. I do build my speed up a little bit more when I am not with the girls. Um, it's really, you know, I think it's important to take time for yourself because you know I get wrapped up in the people I love and taking care of them and my doodles I love they are like my children but at 63 years old it's like having two toddlers that never stop and when I'm on a walk with them although I do love walking them when I am on that walk it's a sniff squat sniff chase after this bird, chase after that critter, whatever. So it's not a really good walk for me. It is for them. And walking, whether you're walking fast or slow, it really doesn't matter. It's the movement. Here, so this area during the hurricane, if you remember, these trees up ahead were all um, down. You can see that they have them staked up now and the sidewalks were all pulled up. They just did these yesterday. So we now have all of our sidewalks back and you can see down the street, all of the trees are back up. They did a really good job in this community getting thing, uh, everything back in order. But if you look, you'll see half the trees are chopped off. But by this time next year, those trees will be back in full bloom. It's amazing to me, it's amazing. Okay, so I have people coming. I'm going to turn the camera off, and this is what I'm going to do along the walk. It's going to be on and off.
Okay, I'm about 20 minutes into my walk and I've just hit a mile. Well, I hit a mile back at 17 minutes, but uh, my pace is pretty good. It's really chilly and risky. My cheeks are getting nice and flush. I think when I'm done, I'm gonna go home and get into my infrared sauna blanket and warm right, right, up, right up. But I still have about, oh, maybe 60 minutes left of this walk. I try to get a good 75 minutes when I'm by myself.
All right, friends, that is it for my walk. I think I did, I think it said about 80 minutes. I'm outside with the girls now because they need their potty time. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that it also inspired some of you to get up off your tush if you're able to and do something for you. Take some time out of your day for you and there's nothing better than a beautiful walk. So that is it. Uh, I may sneak a few other things in here. If not, I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So hit the subscribe button and right next to it is the bell that'll notify you of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world, do something wonderful for yourself, be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love our age. All right, friends, it is snack time. This is what I have in between breakfast and lunch. It's packed with protein. It is a built bar. It is the cookie dough flavor. It's the one I love most. And I also hydrate after I walk with more water. It's important to hydrate before and after exercising. Next up, I'm gonna share with you my favorite yogurt bowl. It has some fresh, a frozen fruit. It has some Elizabeth's vanilla chocolate granola, Lily's white chocolate baking chips. It has some American candy cane kisses peanut butter and Fage Greek yogurt. And again, some frozen berries. I thaw the berries in the microwave for a few seconds and then I smash them into the bottom of the bowl. And on top of that, we'll go the Greek yogurt. Everything is measured out. You'll see that clip in the end. And then I go ahead and measure out my, I measure out all the ingredients. So first comes the Greek yo yogurt, and then I put in the granola. And yes, I weigh everything out. And next will be the chocolate chips, and then the peanut butter. The peanut butter I forgot to uh, film. And then I just put it all in a bowl, and then I stir it all up, and it makes this beautiful, beautiful yogurt parfait, which has 23.1 grams of protein. It is fabulous. I love it. I think it's also important to keep your pantry organized and filled with all the things that make every single meal enjoyable for you. So I thought I would just give you a glimpse of mine, and I keep all of my things pretty much in groupings, but you can do it any way you want. On the bottom, I just have more of the everyday things I use to make this way of eating fabulous. This is pasta. I eat pasta. And then all of my protein is on the bottom. And that is it, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you again soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.